The project began when residents on Percy Street came to Bella Vista Town Watch and asked for our assistance in solving problems on the street related to stormwater management, flooding in the basements, sinkholes in the street, and generally the bad condition of the street. We were able to approach city officials and request their assistance in developing solutions. As it turns out, Percy Street required a new sewer, and while they were building a new sewer, we decided that we should make this a green street to stop water from going into our sewer system. We had looked at opportunities for how we could do that, how we could work with the neighbors, and take a small street that really is too small for trees, too small for bioswales or other types of techniques that we would normally do for a green street, and we decided here we can use porous asphalt as our solution. We're looking into all sorts of possible solutions for managing stormwater in a decentralized manner. Decentralizing stormwater management is managing the stormwater on site. So the rain that falls here on this block is managed here on this block, as opposed to being collected into a sewer system and managed at a centralized location, such as a big tunnel or a big basin or down at our treatment plants. And a porous asphalt surface as opposed to a standard surface for the street would give us an opportunity to manage the stormwater on site. Porous paving is a concrete mix where the fines are reduced from the mixture that leaves additional void space in the surface that allows water rather than running down the gutter to infiltrate through the surface and into the sub base. It goes into a stone bed below the paving surface. From there it slowly infiltrates into the ground below. There's also a fail-safe designed in so that if it does not infiltrate, it's released back into the sewer system at a manageable rate. The sides of the system are lined with an impermeable plastic down to a point where once the water is released underneath, it's below the level of the basements and will simply go into the groundwater without ever affecting the basements along the system. I didn't realize just how much difference this was going to make. When they said the water wouldn't stay on the top, the first thing I said was, well, yeah, it'll just go in my basement. But this water's not stagnant, it's not going in the sewer, you know, it's just going back into the earth and everything. It's rained a few times and my basement is dry. It was three and a half months of just mayhem, but I think it was worth it because of what we got now. I like it, you know, they made, a, they made the street wider and they gave us some new sidewalks. I think it's a great new standard. I think that any new street they do, they should definitely do this to it. It should help with the pothole problem because potholes are formed by the ground freezing, thawing, freezing, thawing, freezing, thawing. And if the water does not sit on the surface to freeze, that actually could help the potholes and we think it'll help on the snow plowing because for a small snowstorm, we should not have to plow that street. The liquid should just immediately be pulled underground to be stored. So we expect it to help save taxpayers money. Most of the streets in the city are small neighborhood streets like Percy Street. Okay, ready? On three. One, two, three. <laughs> Percy Street could be a model project for the rest of Philadelphia. Our advice to other neighborhoods would be to work with your civic association and the city will be a valuable partner in developing streets that manage stormwater rather than let it run off. The city owns most of the impervious surface. It owns playgrounds, parks, sidewalks, streets, and so the only way to really get to the point where we've committed to, which is to make one third of the city green in the next 25 years, is to really start looking at that concrete and asphalt and try to figure out how we can make it more porous, how we can take some of it out and add green space, how we can create green infrastructure in the city of Philadelphia. We're looking to evolve the city and as old buildings go down and new buildings go up, as streets are rebuilt, we do it with better and newer design standards that think about sustainability and about how water can be managed in the 21st century.